This is the 35th video of the Wargaming of Wargame Design Studios Napoleonic Waterloo Campaign. And this is the second series in which I am playing the British and Prussians and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the French. It is June 16th, 1815, 9.30 a.m. Turn 75 out of 388 turns. To put this in perspective, this is the same day that um, Marshal Ney began the Battle of Croix de Bras and uh, I think about 1 p.m. and Napoleon began the Battle of Ney at about 4 p.m. So uh, it is the Allied movement phase and let us see what we have to move. I believe ah. let's see if we move this outlying stuff let me get rid of those yellow boxes it looks like we have let me just check I think I remember that's what happened last time so all we have to move is the main army yeah, these guys are all moved. Okay. These guys are moved. Aha! Looks like here's where we stopped our movement. Okay. So these are moved, and these aren't. So we've selected a battlefield in which we deployed our advanced cavalry to hold it, and now the infantry is coming up to occupy it. And then, depending on what the French does, if they attack or not, we'll hold our battlefield and... Uh, the British will slide off to the right and force a crossing of the Sambra. So that's the plan. We'll see how, if it keeps together or it works, who knows. Now we've just got to move down this road and we'll be done. I don't think we're getting any more units. Nope.
Okay, the tail end of the third, the uh, Prussian army is in sight here. And next turn it looks like the British will begin moving out, led by their cavalry. There's going to be some supply moving with both armies, but the majority of their supply trains will be moving after the armies. Okay. Let's move these guys up. I think that was the fourth Netherlands, and this is the third. So there are two divisions. the guard, huh?
Well, there's Wellington. Shit, he went off course again. Oh, damn DI. Well, I don't know whether that was planned or not. Maybe one of those random die rolls. There was no reason for him to go off the road. Unless AI wanted him to go off the road. Okay, that is it. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, this guy moved. So, let's go down here and observe what's going to take place as the Frenchies move. I think I have a couple cavalry charges here. I do. Otherwise, there is no firing. Now, what happens is if you forget to execute a cavalry charge, the cavalry automatically disorders. So you don't want to forget. Okay, that guy disappeared. I had two casualties, he had 25, and poof. That's a good result. This guy disappeared too. I had two casualties, he had 95. Now I'll be disordered. No, I'm not even disordered. The odds were so overwhelming. Well, I think that'll make him think twice about uh, having his uh, skirmishers buzz around my uh, cavalry. Okay, now let's see what he's going to do in his movement. Well, he was setting up a nice ambush inside Cher Loire. I guess thinking I'd come storming in there, but I'm not going to do that. And he's crossing over. The Sombra now to attack me, but that's not going to work out well because oh, look at this. He's sending a lot of force to go across that bridge. I guess he's thinking <laughs> I might force that bridge. I, I might, but not right now. I'm going to set up on the battlefield and then have the British circle around. Yeah, 
guy's got a lot of garbage up there. Skirmishers aren't going to do anything. I know AI always likes to create a, a ton of skirmishers if they play the French. And, and that's good in certain circumstances, but it weakens an already weakened unit because apparently compared to the Prussians, even the British, the French are really weak. They'll have like two, three, two, 250, 300 strength battalions, infantry battalions. The Prussians, for crying out loud, would have five, six, seven hundred strong. And the British will have four or five hundred strong. So when you detach 75 skirmishers from a 350 unit, now it's 200, uh, what, 75 compared to a 500? You got to be real careful when you do that. charging me. When that hourglass is yellow, it means he's moving. You can see it blink. That means he's moving one unit, then another, then another. AI moves pretty fast. A lot faster than any human could. Just look at it. He's moving units with each, with each blink. No human can move that fast. So as long as that hourglass is up and blinking, I, I don't have any control over the cursor. So when I try to look at something, I won't be able to do it. He's just moving too fast, so I, I don't even try now. 
definitely is going to cross on that bridge. shots with the guns. Let's see. Got this square. I'll have to get this cavalry out of the way next time. But let's see if this guy can shoot. He can! 60 men! Holy shit. We'll see how long that square stays there. Oh, this guy's still limbered. What a shame. This guy's unlimbered then. 14, pretty good. See, being on high ground, I can fire over my own men, which is nice. So, what the hell's going on here? Oh, I'm disordered. I did get disordered. Uh, both these guys got disordered. Okay, that that happens usually in a cavalry charge, so they're no good. That's why this guy moved up to him. So I'm gonna have to move these guys back. This guy's still limbered. Okay, I think that's it then. French offensive, nothing. French melee, nothing. Movement. Well, let's move the outlying units. Okay, looks like he's abandoned the woods. Occupying that road. Okay, I know he's not coming up any of these roads. Which is good. I thought he might be hanging out at Linnae and then coming up from that direction, but it doesn't look like it. So, uh, those are all my... S oh, what's this? Oh, he's just guarding the road. All right, now let's go to the left. got these two areas under surveillance. We got this one. Oh, there's some stuff there. Looks like I'll capture a supply. I don't know what good it'll do me. Okay, that takes care of the scouts. are a real pain in the ass. I hope I don't get any more of these supply way out here. And the Calvary. Well, 
Well, they'll actually be the re rear guard, these cavalry of the supply units. Okay. What's this guy way out here for? Oh, some more Britskis here. Okay, now we're well let's shut off the signage. You can see. Disordered. Shit. Well, that relegates him to the rear guard. Okay, now well, we can go down here and move the main army. Well, let's... Start moving across on this ridge. Oh, better move these guys before I forget. Okay. Let's put these guys in line. These guys in line. Ah, we move so damn slow. Holy shit! Look at these guys! Wow, we're gonna be meleeing some skirmishers. Holy shit! They're like vermin in those woods. Sorry, I put this guy in the uh, disordered. There's another column. Let's move this guy down here. Move 
the officers over here. Hey! I don't think he's faced right for a melee, maybe. We gotta sweep the woods anyway. Let's get this guy out of here. Turn him down for a melee. Turn him down for a melee. Okay, this guy's in square, huh? Let's, won't save you from artillery, bucko. See me. I'm set up for a charge. Same here. See how he likes that. Meanwhile, let's draw these guys. Send this guy down. We'll turn this guy so I can charge him next turn. Send these guys over. We'll unlimber him. Ooh, this must be really rough ground. Oh, that, that guy's disordered, that's why. I was going to say, it must really be rough ground. That guy's hardly moving. For some reason, he got disordered, probably through my carelessness. So I can point him down in case anyone comes out. All right, let's continue moving here. Thing this turn for reinforcements? No. Who the 
tells the rest of the British Army, come on, must be in the afternoon. This guy's okay, he just went off the road. Finger rest. All
Okay, here comes the cavalry. Oh shit! Well, didn't uh, result in anything, thank God. What happened was I kept my finger on the unit as I moved backwards, so it moved backwards. That happens because my finger gets tired and I don't do a release. Well, no harm, no fall on that one. This guy recovered already? No, that's not the one. The last guy in line is the disordered one. No, second to the last. These two. I don't know how the hell they got disordered, but they are going to be the rear guard. Can't even move. Oh, we moved already? Yeah, okay. That's fine. can recover from disorder, that would be nice. Okay, all those guys have moved. Now here. Shoot. Got some guys that are trying to catch up. Oh no, they've moved. Yeah, they're gonna have to fall in. They'll be out of order with these pink guys. They'll never they'll never make it. Okay, we got this dopey Wellington trying to Oh, he's already moved. Okay, looks like these guys have all moved then, so we're done. Okay. French defensive fire. All right, six, seven men. Allied offensive. Okay, let's see what we got here. I think these guys can fire. Well, they can get one man, I suppose. That's something. See if this guy can fire. No, he's not going to be able to do anything. This guy can shoot, though. One man. <laughs> he got the same as those other guys. Amazing. Okay, now...
Sit another 60. I don't know why he's standing there. God damn it, I didn't put this guy. I didn't unlimber him. 14. Oh, this guy's way far away. I'm not even going to bother to shoot. Okay, I think that's it. Now for melee time. We'll see what we can do here. I got 12, he got 2. Shit, that didn't work out well. I've got the advantage. Okay, I got 11, he got 16. No, he disordered there. He disordered there. Now, what that means is his firepower is halved and his movement is halved, which is a good thing, and I want to kick him off the road anyway. Eleven, I lost eleven, he lost sixteen. I am not disordered, and he is. Okay. We're going to kick kick these little bastards out of the woods. And I believe that's it. Frenchy movement. Let's see what he's up to. You know, I swear, the way he's de deployed, or it's deployed, it looks like it wants to defend the river line. I can't cross the river except that the bridge is, although my engineers might be able to make a pontoon. I'll have to look into that. That's, I suppose that's, that's what it's... Uh, protecting against does make a certain amount of sense. If that's the case, I wonder why he has units north of the Sombra. You'd think he'd just give that up. Of course, a lot of those units are skirmishers. But he's got some, as I recall, he's got to have a battalion within range of those skirmishers for them to move. Yeah, he's just moving so slow. It's not like he wants to cross that bridge on the far right. It's like he just wants to form a line there to make sure I don't cross the Sombra there. Hmm. It's 
a strange tactic. The French are completely defensive with their main army. Their skirmishers are going to try to run through my lines, but they're going to get squashed. My infantry's coming up, and they're going to take care of those skirmishers. They won't do shit. <laughs> Just like those ones in a woods. There's one I see that's routed. Is it two that are routed? Yeah, looks like two that are routed and two are running away. If your casualties are heavy and you try to move and your morale is none too high, likely is you'll route. You'll move and then route. That's what happened to those two up there, I think. They took heavy casualties, and then they routed. French skirmishers are really lightweight. They're a hundred and less. Mostly they're 40, 50, 30. So if they take 12 casualties, that's a lot. The Prussian skirmish, skirmishers are like 150. Some of them are even 200. They're just like a a French infantry battalion. So, you know, you, you hit them with 10, 15 casualties, it's nothing. They just shrug it off. That's a big difference between the two skirmishers and the, the Prussian skirmishers can go up and fight the Frenchies and not be afraid. But the Frenchies have to be afraid because some of their skirmishes are pretty small. One good jolt and they're practically done. I don't know whether he's going to cross that bridge, this near bridge in force or not. That's going to be interesting to see. on high ground right behind the river I'll have to read up on the rule for pontoon laying pontoons I guess I can do that with any engineer to get across the river. How, uh, oh, no, I won't. 388 turns. I can come. I can cross the river way over here if I have to. Ally defensive fire. Well, okay. Let's see what we got here. I fired any of these guys? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Here we can. This guy's still up on the ridge. I guess he likes it. 78. Jesus. He's getting killed. Another 20. Let's see, this guy now, he was pointed uh, west. Now he's pointed up towards this guy. I'm not going to attack him in that circumstance because he's pointed right at me. I can't attack him here, but I'll just keep him. I'll try a shot at this guy. Six men, huh? Oh, what's he doing here? Well, he isn't charging me. So you got to be set up for a charge. You, you just, your arrow has to be pointed towards your target hex. 
and you have to move in a relatively straight line. I think you can deviate one hex to the left or right, but it, it won't let you deviate more than that, and it won't let you declare a charge unless your arrow is initially pointed at the guy. Now, this guy wasn't. His arrow is pointed now. So he's got a zone, so I won't be able to go back the way I came. But that's okay. I can I can flit around here. Okay, so I believe that's all I have. Am I gonna have any melee? Oh, I it's not my turn to melee, so I won't worry about it. French offensive fire, two men. No effect. One man. That I can take. French melee. Nope. Okay, we got ally movement. We got an hour and three minutes, so we're going to end it here. I like to limit these turns to an hour. So we will continue next.